This is a 3D printed launch pad that I've been building alongside my new rocket. It has a built-in LCD and countdown timer, and importantly, a set of clamps for holding down the rocket, high current igniter outputs with continuity detection, and a radio for communications with the rocket and the ground computer. It is a huge upgrade from the launch pad my first rocket used, which is made from a couple of pieces of wood haphazardly nailed together. It was really, really bad, as it deflected all the rocket exhaust straight back up and into the delicate electronics. So yeah, I made sure to add a suitable flame diverter this time. The pad is way too wide to 3D print in one piece, so I split it up into 8 bricks that slot together. The connections between the bricks are pretty strong, because they have to withstand the weight of the heavy flame diverter and clamp assembly. I bought some adjustable household appliance legs and added some 3D printed extensions, which are ideal as I can just twist them to level the pad. The pad's computer in its current state will probably be temporary, as I want to replace it with a more full-featured and sleek PCB at some point. That being said, it is still pretty capable. It controls all of the igniters, clamps, the countdown timer, and displays the battery voltage and continuities of the igniter outputs on an LCD. To explain how it works, I'm going to show you what a typical launch scenario looks like. I connect the igniters and clamp the rocket down to the pad, then turn on the built-in computer. I'll then turn the rocket on and enable the pyro channels by flicking this switch. The switch electrically connects the igniter to the battery, so I don't accidentally set them off before I'm ready. From my laptop stationed a safe distance away from the pad, I'll transmit the countdown command through my command slash telemetry software I mentioned in my last video. The rocket and pad receive the command simultaneously and synchronise their internal countdowns. At T0, the launch pad writes a high voltage to the gates of the igniter MOSFETs, allowing current from the 3S LiPo to flow through the igniters. About 0.4 seconds later, the clamps retract, allowing the rocket to lift off the pad. There are four clamps that hold the rocket down before both motors come up to thrust, and they are all actuated by one servo. There is a sort of rotor part that locks the clamps in place. It's supported by some bearings, so it smoothly rotates under high loads. This design is great because it ensures all clamps retract simultaneously, although it probably is a bit overkill. Saying that, the entire mechanism is 3D printed and wasn't too hard to put together, and the mechanical complexity is a good trade-off for the electrical simplicity, with only one servo needing to be connected to the computer. I'll be putting this launch pad and my rocket to the test in the next couple of weeks, when I'll hopefully be launching my rocket for the first time. I'll try to release a video detailing the launch and the rocket itself as soon as possible after that, so subscribe if you don't want to miss it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you after the first flight.